uh, serikali mpya rais William Ruto kuchukua hatamu za uongozi mkoruzano uliibuka bungeni kuhusu ni muungano upi uliokuwa na idadi kubwa ya bunge Ka, kama anavyotuarifu mwanahabari wetu Shadra Kariria wabunge wa muungano wa azimio na wale wa Kenya kwanza kila upande ulidai kuwa ulikuwa na idadi kubwa hali ambayo ilisababisha mgawanyiko mkubwa bungeni mwandishi wetu habari Shadra Kariria anaangazia utendakazi wa bunge hili chini ya miezi mitatu Baada ya msimu wa kampeni kukamilika na serikali mpya ya Rais William Ruto kuchukua nyadhifa za uongozi. I William Samoei Ruto. Bunge la awamu ya 13 lilipokea hadhari za siasa kutoka kwa miungano tofauti ya kisiasa. Kinyang'anyiro cha kumtafuta speaker mpya wa bunge hilo kililigawanya bunge hilo mara mbili ukuwa bunge kutoka mrengo miwili ya kisiasa wakitofautiana. Wabunge kutoka katika muungano wa Azmi wa One Kenya walidai kuwa walikuwa na idadi kubwa ya wabunge bungeni wakisema kuwa speaker alitakiwa kutoka upande huo. Kwa upande mwingine wabunge wa Kenya kwanza walijigamba kuwa walikuwa na idadi kubwa ya wabunge baada ya baadhi ya wabunge wa Azmi wa One Kenya kugura muungano huo na kujiunga na muungano wa Kenya kwanza. Tangula. Marende. Baada ya kura kupigwa speaker wa sasa Moses Wetangula alichaguliwa na idadi kubwa ya wabunge na kuwa speaker wa awamu ya nane wa bunge la kitaifa. I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude to the honorable members here assembled for the high honor that you have bestowed upon me by electing me as the speaker of this august house. I accept and submit to your will and I'm ready to serve as the eighth speaker of the National Assembly since our independence. Wakati wa utawuzi wa kiongozi wa olio wengi bungeni, pia uliibuwa mswada mzito bungeni, ukuwa bunge wa azimia wa kishikilia kuwa walikuwa na idadi kubwa bungeni. Madam Speaker, I want to take this opportunity also to ask the speaker in his wisdom wherever he is, that later when he comes here, he makes the best ruling that Azimio is the majority in this house. Na baada ya kimani chungwa wa Kenya kwanza kutangazwa kwa kiongozi wa olio wengi bungeni, mungano wa Azimio ulitishia kuelekea mahakamani kupinga utawuzi wake jambo ambalo alikuweze kana. If you are a minority or a majority, then that influences a number in the committees. Sindio? And, and this is a matter ambayo nimezungumza kwamba sisi wenyewe tuko kwa mahakama. Baada ya Rais William Ruto kuwateua mawaziri katika serikali yake, wabunge wa Azimio walipinga baadhi ya majina ya mawaziri hao kwa misingi kuwa hawakuwa na maadili mema. Kati ya waliomulikwa ni akiwemo waziri wa jinsia Aisha Jumwa pamoja na waziri wa kilimo Mithikali Nturi. Franklin Mithikali Nturi ni utawuzi ambao ulibua maso wa lichungu nzima ukubadhi ya wachanganuzi wa maso wa kisiasa wakikosua jinsi msasa wa mawaziri hao ulivendeshwa so it must be of interest to the vetting committee here is a guy who was criminal who is facing criminal charges in court all of a sudden after being nominated for this position of cabinet the cases have been dropped the committee must go behind that and find out why was this case dropped. They must even bring the person, the complainant. You said you were raped by this guy. Okay? Rape is a serious thing. How have you withdrawn the rape case against this nominee? Bare ya mezi miwili pende kezo la kuatimua ofisini makamishi na wane wa IBC kutokana na atuwa yao ya kupinga matokeo ya kure ya uraisi kwenye uchaguzi iliopita iliwasilishwa bungeni na kamati ya bunge ikabuniwa ili kuwapeleleza makamishi na hao ni zoezi ambalo lilitishia kuvuruga amani ya taifa baada ya kiongozi wa muungano wa Azimio Raila Odinga pamoja na wabunge wa muungano huo kutofautiana na hatua hiyo. Wakosi yao ni nini? Manake wao walikuwa melinda ukweli. Na vile mimi naongea na nyinyi sasa hapa namna hii Bwana Ruto tayari imeshatetea hiyo tume. Weka tume ya kutoa wale katika nini? 
katika IBC. Odinga aliwatetea Juliana Cherera, Irene Masit, Justice Nyangaya na Francis Wanderi na kuwapa kufanya mikutano ya kupinga hatua za serikali katika sehemu tofauti nchini. <tos> Mnamo tarehe nane mwezi Disemba Odinga pamoja na wanasiasa wengine wa muungano wa Azimio walifanya mkutano wao wa kwanza wa kupinga maamuzi ya serikali katika uwanja wa Kamukunji. Hakama sasa imekuwa ni karagosi ya executive. The executive the, the, the judiciary is captive to the executive. Tolewa vizuri. Tolewa vizuri. Demaona kila mara kwa mara rais na kwenda kwa kule kwa mahakama nitawapata nyinyi pesa ndajenga makoti ma, ma, ma na kadhalika tunataka mpaka warudishwe pale wako warudishwe pale alipo naruto mpaka azuiliwe kwa taua tuma nyingine ya, ya, ya uchaguzi ambayo ni yake ni kama cargoes yake kama amefanya na hiyo kutakuwa kuna uchaguzi katika taifa letu we want to do our job and we wish well the opposition in doing their job but they should do it peacefully i do not think organizing demonstrations and um, getting kenyans to do the things they want kenyans to do is part of holding any government to account they are free to criticize what we are doing that's okay with us and we appreciate but i want to encourage them not to drive Kenyans against one another. Kufikia sasa bunge la kitaifa limefanikiwa kuwapiga msasa mawaziri makatibu wakuu pamoja na kuwachunguza makamishi na wanne wa IBC. Bunge hilo likitarajiwa kufanya marekebisho katika vipengee tofauti vya katiba ili kuhalalisha pesa za CDF. Shadrack Kareria,